from starvation, disorientated, run over by cars. The juvenile birds succumbed first. The smell of dead birds, it's the squashed birds in the street, birds hanging by the necks of the trees, baby birds lying around and just the stress of running in the streets, running in the main road. But the rescue mission managed to save some of the birds and eggs. AXA had placed nets over the trees, hoping to minimise the threat of bird strikes by aircraft and to ensure the survival of the protected species. Many egrets trapped under the nets also didn't survive. It's about cruelty. And when you deal with a situation like this, where AXA was informed, you know, and they do know better, they should not have interfered with the birds while there were chicks there. If it was an emergency situation, they needed to control the situation by all means, but then get people in to collect and pick up the chicks. You can't leave animals trapped in the boiling hot sun for days on end with no access to their parents, with no food and no water. That becomes blatant cruelty. AXA says in a statement it had a government permit to deal with the birds and that it consulted nature conservation authorities and stakeholders before taking action. But the wings of hundreds of birds have been clipped. The surviving egrets will be reared at a sanctuary on the outskirts of the city. Janine Lee, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.